Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. It's Friday, October 14th, 2022. We're here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse for the beginning of jury deliberations in U.S. versus Trevor Milton. We've covered the trial from the beginning. We covered it during its nine-day hiatus as his uh, Milton's lead lawyer, Mark Mukasey, had a COVID positive test. Now, yesterday in his closing argument, Mukasey said, hey, you know, Kim Brady, that's the CFO and Mark Russell, but Kim Brady, he's a Boy Scout. If he saw anything wrong, he would have turned it in. You don't see him in handcuffs. And I think that's a question that resonates. We've written a story on Inner City Press and on Patreon, and we have a booklet in the works. Watch. There'll be basically an hour of jury, jury instructions, and then they'll begin to deliberate. They can stay past 2.30, which has been the cutoff day for the whole trial, and we'll see if they reach a decision today. And we'll be covering it, including any notes they send out, and we'll just see. Now, another trial almost got paused. This is, US, this is uh, Anthony Rapp versus Kevin Spacey. Spacey's lead counsel, Jennifer Co- Ke- Keller, came down with COVID. Um, see a trend here? Now, it seemed for a moment that, that the, the, the trial was similarly going to be paused, but as it turned out, they went forward with Dr. Rocchio, and Keller's uh, doppelganger uh, was just as nasty uh, in question. You can find that story on Inner City Press. We, because, we then found there's a trial going on here called U.S. versus Dennis, Willie Dennis. He's a former lawyer with k and Gates, um, and uh, he's, his e- e- emails and texts to his uh, former partners were read out, and they were pretty, pretty spicy. And uh, meanwhile, the courtroom filled up with lawyers for a Bernie Madoff hearing. Blast from the past, like 12 white shoe lawyers. And they're listening, like, first they were kind of laughing, and then they were like, oh, my God, this could be... This could be me, not Willie Dennis. I don't think they identified with him, uh, but with the man on the stand. Now, the United Nations we also cover, and I want to tell you it's a sinkhole of corruption. Antonio Guterres is flacking for for Tramo. It's a Houston-based commodities firm that's in litigation here in SDNY. We asked him a question. What about poisoning the water in Puerto Rico? No answer. How has the UN gone from mankind's greatest hope to a corporate flack for a commodities dealer? Watch this space, Inner City Press.